welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I have something very special. I made this piece for this special occasion. I celebrated Mother's Day with this view and making this beautiful, uh, how can we call, um, this beautiful cover-up, right? Well, today I will give you the step-by-step -step and all the tips and secrets that you need to know to make this while well, we enjoy of this beautiful view. Today I'm in Veracruz, Mexico. You will see it's very easy. You just have to make some rectangles and you just need to repeat them and make as many as you need. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and I will give you the material list. Well, for this cover up in this size, we are going to need 400 grams of this fine material. I will use my hook of number three and a half or four according how you crochet i will use this acrylic or you can use cotton too if you want here i will leave all the information where you can buy it to buy all the materials that i use in all my videos you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es and we will send it right to your house we are going to divide this cover in two parts, the front and the back, and we will make exactly the same in both sizes. We are going to make chains from the elbow and passing through the shoulders and to the other elbow. In this case, 190 chains. We will count six, and then in the six, we will count five. And in the fifth, we are going to insert a hook and single crochet. So it will be in the uh, 11th chain, right? So again, we are going to make six chains, three, four, five, and six. We will count uh, one, two, three, four, in the fifth single crochet. And again, we will repeat six chains, four, five, six, and we will count five and in the fifth we are going to insert the hook and like this the whole row at the end of the row we will have 37 okay well at the end we are going to turn around we will make six chains five and six and over the last single crochet we are going to make one single crochet more again five i mean six chains and again single crochet and we will repeat okay so here single crochet and again we will make six chains and in the fifth and in the last single crochet we are going to make single crochet so here we complete three eyes right so now we are going to make three chains we are going to turn over twice we are going to skip one eye and in the next eye we are going to make an extended double crochet. You see, again, two chains, turn over twice, take one, take two, take two, and last two. And again, two chains, turn over twice, and extend the double crochet. We are going to repeat this until we have nine extended double crochets and making two chains in between all of them in the same eye. Well, at the end of the nine extended double crochet, we will finish with two chains and we will insert the hook in the next single crochet. Then we are going to make six chains, two, three, four, five, six, and we are going to make single crochet in the last single crochet. Sorry that I have to cut, but we are still here, so we are going to make six chains and single crochet in the last single crochet again six chains and a single crochet and we are going to repeat this four times we have one two three so we are going to make the last so we will have four eyes after the shell that we made so again we have four right so after the fourth eyes that we have we are going to repeat the shell that we made remember so we are going to make two chains we are going to skip this eye and in the next eye we are going to insert a hook and again we are going to make nine extended double crochets with two chains between them okay 
Remember, all these double crochets will go in the same space. After this, again, you are going to make four eyes and you will repeat the uh, shell and like this until we finish the row. Okay, 37 eyes, right? So here we finish, we are going to make a single crochet. So look what I made. So remember, we made nine extended double crochets, then four eyes, then the next eight. So here we made a shell and remember that here we leave a space at the beginning and at the end of each chip, of each shell, sorry. And again we repeat until we finish the row. And we finish with three eyes the same way like we started, remember, with three eyes. And at the end we will have one, two, three, four and five shells. So at the end of the row we will turn around and we will make six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, I count one more, right? So six. And we repeat. We are going to make single crochet over single crochet. So we are going to make the eyes again. Six and a single crochet. So here we are just going to make two eyes. Then one, two, three chains. And we will insert the hook in the first double extended double crochet you see and we are going to make an extended double crochet then three chains and again an extended double crochet remember that each each shell sorry has nine ish uh, extended double crochet so we must have the same number that's the first step and the, and the first secret that i gave you that at the end of each shell you should count how many extended double crochets you had because in one occasion I made one less and it was a completely disaster so it's better that you check how many you have and then you continue so following this sequence is how we are going to continue remember that you won't count this first three just from here okay nine well at the end of the nine extended double crochets we made three chains I will skip this space and in the next single crochet we are going to make a single crochet and then we are going to make two eyes and then we will continue with the shell to make the eyes we are going to make six chains and then a single crochet and like this remember okay we are going to make two eyes then and then we are going to continue with the shell right and like this is how we are going to continue for the rest of the row where we made the shell last time now we are going to make the shells like this okay so we will have a shell then two eyes two eyes and then the shell well at the end of the row we finish with two eyes now we are going to make one two three four five six and we will turn over twice right away and we, in the first double crochet i mean the first single crochet we are going to make a dot extended double crochet then three chains and again an extended double crochet so this is the first b right so then we are going to turn over twice right away without making chains and we will go to the first space of the nine, not here, right? Of the nine extended double crochet, and we are going to make an extended double crochet, but we are going to leave the last loop in hold. We will repeat all of them in the same space, and we will leave again the last loop in hold. So here we have then three, four. So how we have four extended double crochets and then we bring them through and one chain then four chains and again we will repeat and we are going to make a, a leaf in the next space okay and like this we are going to make one leaf in each space of the last extended double crochets that we made with four chains between them well at the end we finish with one four five six seven eight nine and then it leaves okay so without making a chain we make an extended double crochets between the last eye and right here is where we are going to make a v okay with four chains between 
in between. Then, without making a change, we will turn over and again we will repeat. Well, at the end of the row, we will finish with one B, three chains, and with an extended double crochet in the last stitch, right? Right here. Look where I'm going to insert your hook right here okay so an extended double crochet and then the last two then we will turn our project we will make six chains let me fix this part okay six chains one two three four five six and we will make v over v and when we are always about to start this row this is series we are always going to start with six uh, chains, okay? And making B over Bs. Look, without making chains, right away we are going to continue in the next space. And right here, we are going to make a single crochet, then one, two, three, four, five, six chains. And in the next space, a single crochet. And at the end, we must have seven eyes over the shells over the leaves remember and we here we will we must have the bees okay so the sequence will go like this we will continue making the eyes in each space and at the end we must have seven okay so here we are going to try to skip one without counting the V so here is where I'm going to skip one, so I'm going to make the six chains, skip this one, and in the next one, a single crochet. And then I'm going to continue six chains, and here single crochet, and again six chains. I want to finish this part with you so you can see exactly at the end how it looks. So again six chains, and remember that we already skipped one, so we must have something like this and here is the V, okay? We won't count the V. So here, over the show, we must have seven. Also, this part is very important. Please, at the end, always count seven. So without making chains, right away, we are going to continue and make the next V, okay? We are going to make four chains after the double cr extended double crochets that we made and we close to make the V. So we made B over B. Also without making chains, we are going to make a single crochet in the next space, okay? And like this is how we are going to continue making the seven eyes and the Bs. Well, at the end of the row, we will finish making the last V, then three chains and the last extended double crochet. And like this is how we finish the row. Then we will have something like this, right? We will turn around and we will go up with one, two, three, four, five, six chains, turn over twice and over the V, we are going to make the next V. Four chains and then the other part of the V. So we will have something like this, right? Okay, then we are going to make Without making chains right away in the next space, we are going to make an extended double crochet and right here we are going to make three like this one. So here we have two and three. Then three chains and now an extended double crochet. We are going to make again three. Remember that before we made this row, we must check that we have the seven eyes. So here again we are going to make three extended double crochets inside this eye and between them we are going to make three chains. Remember that when we make the Vs we won't make any change, you see? And also in the last row remember that when we finish the eyes we didn't make any chains. So three double crochets, three chains over the eyes and we must have seven repetitions and in here, in here without making chains the V. So this is what we made after the V we made this right without making chains we made three extended double crochets and with 
three chains between them and we finish remember that we repeat seven times and we finish making a V also without making any chain and we made that at the end too and without making a chain we are going to continue in the next shell and we are going to repeat three extended double crochets three chains and like this is how we are going to continue for the rest of the row so look we already have made six series and now we are going to repeat the first row that we made remember the, the row of the eyes then we made of the double crochets then of the extended double crochets then the leaves then the eyes and then the last row that we made of the three extended double crochets right so these six different rows are a series right so we are going to repeat this series until we have the long of the cover up that we want and I'm going to start the next series with you so you can see how it is if you see we start with the eyes without counting this one one two three rows then three rows of bees and again three rows starting with eyes and like this again so here we will start making six chains and in the next space single crochets let me take my break here again again six chains and single crochet in the next space between the three extended double crochet and extended double crochets then six chains and in the next space single crochet six chains in the next space single crochet and again six chains and we are going to make single crochet in the next space this will happen always when we are uh, here in this part okay making six chains and between the three chains that we made before we are going to make a single crochet again six chains and now we are going to insert a hook between the V so look let's count how many we made so here is our V you see and we made one two three four five six and seven remember the same number that we made here in this part so we are going to finish this row the row that we are making now and see you to teach you how we are going to continue to review right so see you there so now here we finish the row now we are going to start with the second row of this series remember that we start with three eyes and then we continue with the shell so let's start we are going to make six uh, chains one two three four five six and single crochet over the last single crochet remember again six chains and single crochet six chains and single crochet so now we are going to make the shell remember that here at the beginning we made three yeah, eyes right but here in, in between this area we made four so be careful so two chains and in the next eye we are going to skip one and in the next one we are going to start making the extended double crochets two chains and in the same space again and here at the end we must have nine extended double crochets so we finish the nine extended double crochets with two chains we skip one and in the next we are going to make single crochet so now here we have the first shell of the first of the second series sorry and it must match exactly in the same um, side with the other uh, that we made so now we are going to make the eyes remember that I told you that here we are going to make four instead of three mm -hmm. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, prendemos. 
So here we have the shell, right? So as you see, we made two and then the V. So we made one, two before the Vs and two, be two after the Vs, right? So then we are going to make three chains, turn over twice. We are going to skip one eye and in the next eye, we are going to make the extended double crochet and again the shell, right? So look, so this will be the second row of the second series. As I told you, this is one series and we are going to make as many as we need according to the design and to the size that we want. So this is the second row, this is the second row that we are making, then we will make this one, the leaves, and like this we are going to repeat six, the six rows until we get the long that we want. You can take this part as a reference, so remember that we have three chains and three Vs. And again we will repeat three chains and three Vs, and like this you can check if you are making the uh, correct rows. So remember we have to make 10 leaves and here we skip one to have seven uh, eyes and then three double crochets and just that okay and be careful and I will continue making more series and see you at the end. Well look here I get ahead as you see I have two, three, four and five series. I think that this long it's enough. I love it. And now I'm going to make one part exactly the same, with the same number of rows and everything. So this will be the front and this will be the back. But I want that since now this is a joint to the shoulder, so look what I made. Before the neck, okay? So I leave one part of the series and half of it. And in the other side I made the same one series and a half of it. Then I got the yarn. I make a knot here I made 75 chains and then I came back making the eyes exactly the same six chains I skip four and the fifth and make single crochets and again the same way I made here and if you count you will have the same number of eyes that you made here and that you have here so remember that this part Will be for the neck okay we will leave this open for the neck so if you want your neck less open well you leave more or less space but we are going to repeat we are going to repeat the same number of series so we will start here and all here and we will continue okay so we will make one part exactly please count how many eyes you have in both sizes before you continue i count and in this part i have 15 eyes so i made 75 chains and 15 um, eyes in this part and also please try that the center match exactly with the other center okay so be careful we are right now in the right side and we are in the wrong side okay so try that the stitches and that the stitch match so this we should make in this part the right side okay so we are going to make exactly the same what we made in the first part, but now joining this in the shoulders. At the end, we will join just the sides, but for now let's make this part. Okay, I will make some rows and I will show you. So look, I will get ahead in this side. You see how this complete one side from, from the other side. And here I make one complete. You see, then... Here I make just one and a half in one side and the other half in the other side. Here is a space for the neck. And you see this match, this um, shell from the center should match perfectly with the center of the other side. And I have exactly the same in the other side. In one side I have the half in one side and a half in the other side. And here I have one complete. And here in the neck, I think I won't make any extra stitch. I want to keep it simple. And then just in the sides, I'm going to join using my hook too. You are going to fold it and you will try to match all your stitches. And then you will join the sides and the space that you want, leaving the space for the arms. I wanted to make also more rows here in the sleeves, but I already try on and I like how it looks. I think it's enough too. I don't want a long sleeve because it's for summer, so I will leave it like that. But please try on before 
you joined, okay? And you will match perfectly exactly all your stitches from one side to another. I think I'm going to leave 15 centimeters for the sleeve and then I will join the rest. And please try to hide all the loose ends like this. I already show you how in previous videos. And then we are going to make uh, the last stitch, okay, here at the bottom. We are going to make this stitch if you want to make an extra stitch or a different one while well, you are afraid to make it. I choose this one because it's simple, beautiful and easy. So okay, once we have everything ready, we are going to make this part. Remember that we should close the sides with single crochet with our hook. Or if not, you can make it with the embroidery needle. But for now, I will show you how and then I will show you how we are going to make this stitch. Well, we are going to insert our hook and we will try to match every stitch, okay? We are going to make the, a single crochet row right here. We are going to take one stitch from one side and one stitch from the other side. And like this is how we are going to make it, okay? Please try to make this part loose. Not uh, When you make this, try not to tie too much, okay? And try to make and try to match it every stitch as much as you can. If you want, you can use your markers. In this case, I went to the beach, I am in the beach, and I didn't bring them, but, um, well, if you have them, please use them. For example, here I have these three double crochets. Well, I will try to match these three with these other three. And also, this will depend on you. If you want to leave this side more open, well, you will decide okay in this case I will close this part and then I will leave 15 centimeters approximately uh, to the arms okay but if you want you can leave it more open and do just one part one side and like this for example here I have um, the half of the show and until here I'm going to join okay so this will be for this leaf Okay, so for now let's finish to join these parts too. Once we have both sizes joined, well, we are going to uh, continue with the last stitch, okay, of the bottom. For now, let's continue uh, making this part and see you there. So, well, we are going to make a knot where we want to start and we are going to make 20 chains okay in this case imagine that i make a knot here so from here i'm going to start counting 20 chains 12 13 14 15 16 17 19 and 20. we are going to turn over we are going to count two three and in the fourth chain we are going to insert our hook and we are going to make a double crochet and we will leave the last looping hole. And we are going to repeat this five times. We will count the first chains that we made as one. So here we have three. This will be the fourth. And the fifth. Okay, once we have these loops in hope, we are going to bring them through one chain. And now we are going to make one, two, three chains. We are going to come back to the first chain. We are going to insert our hook and right there again, we are going to make five double crochets, leaving the last loop in hold. You see? So we will take one, two, and we will leave the last loop in hold again. So now we are going to bring them through one chain and we are going to fold both parts like this to have this pair and we are going to insert our hook in the first chain of the other uh, part of the pair and we are going to slip one you see so after we join the pair now we are going to make 16 chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 and look, we are going to insert our hook, we are going to skip this space, this other space, and in the third space we are going to make a single crochet. 
and this is how we are going to continue okay all around in the bottom as you see here I already get ahead when I have the V's you see here I have one V I start here and then I insert the other side in the other part of the V and then I skip two spaces and in the third I insert a hook and you will see uh, that at the end you will have something amazing when you finish just hide all your loose ends and you will iron your product use a protection protection under okay be careful and then iron uh, your product very 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 um, carefully and you will have something amazing and now you are ready to wear it now let's see how it looks i hope that you have enjoyed I hope that you enjoy making this piece with me. I choose and I use this place as an inspiration to make this beautiful cover up. I use this chair to crochet every morning and make this beautiful piece for you. Okay, so I hope that you make it. Please, if you like it, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave me a comment. As soon as I can read them, I will answer back. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and if you like it, Please share it. Thank you so much and see you in the coming videos. Bye.